Hello today and today we're going to have a game of Ghosts and Goblins on the Nintendo right now I have reviewed this on quite a number of systems right I think this version is going to be quite good uh, being a console game right mm. that looks quite good right one or two players well it's just me in it so Whoop, what's going on here? Oh, here we go. So we get the introduction here. Right, okay. Let's see how it plays. So, button one is to jump. Oh, fuck. Button two is to fire. What's going on? Hang on. Uh, what? That just spawned right underneath me, for fuck's sake. Come on. Well, of course, it's going to take you... No. Oh. It's necessary to keep seeing this. Right, here we go again. Yep. Yeah. Now, I could never get very far in this game. I originally played it on the Commodore 64. Ah, oh, shit! Oh, I don't want to get that. I hate that weapon. Oh, that was close. He got oh! oh no 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 no! Oh, keep running, run, run! Oh! Leave him behind if we can. Fucking hell, he's still... Oh, bollocks. Now, I should have reached a checkpoint by there. Should have reached a checkpoint. Yeah, I have. Thanks okay, fuck for that. Come on, that's good. So we ain't got that fuck... Oh, bollocks. Ah, oh, you fucker. Game over. So you get the three lives. I know some different home versions were more generous than others. Oh, continue. Yes, please. Yep, continues where on that part of the stage. Good. Good. So I am liking this version. Oh, shit. Now, I'm, I'm aware this is quite a different difficult game it was in the arcade and I played it oh, fuck's sake right I don't think it's, it's necessary to keep showing this I wish we could just skip it no need for that just get on with the game just about avoid, just avoiding this Ah, you... No! Because it throws you back. It throws you back. Oh, come on. This is starting to get on my nerves now. It, there's no need for fucking keep showing this. Absolutely no need. You should be able to skip that. Why not? Oh! Get over there now. Right, just avoid all this. Just avoid it. Now, it didn't take much of an effort to get to this part of the stage. Unlike the fucking home version, especially the Spectrum version. Oh, 
stuck. Why can't I move? Game over. Right, so I still get that continue. So I know where it'll continue from. Yes, good. So you get your your three lives back and you will continue from that point. Which is good. This is a good version actually. This is quite a good version. It's a bastard to play, but well, you expect that from an arcade. Oh fucking hell. A bit glitchy that a little bit glitchy on that side. No, keep going, keep going. What? I thought I killed that thing. Oh, for fuck's sake. Now, there was a sequel game called Ghouls and Ghosts. I don't think that came out on the Nintendo. I just avoid all this shit. Ooh. I don't like this weapon. Oh, what are these things? Wish you could kill these fuckers. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Oh no! Keep going, keep going. Uh, you bastard. That is a bastard. That is a fucking bastard to get past. Oh, come on, this is ridiculous. If it weren't for that, fucking hell, this would be less of a pain in the ass. But, you know, this is a good playable version, though. Definitely is. What helps is having a second fire button certainly helps quite a lot. Oh, these fuckers are... They're fuckers! Come on, keep up, mate. Run, no... Oh, fucking hell. More of them! Oh, you can. Come on, shoot! No! Oh! They're bastards! They are literally bastards. Right, do we have any more continues? Of course we do. How many continues are you going to get? I'm only assuming until you restart the game. I mean, if you had a real Nintendo, that would be the case. But if you're using emulation like me, oh fuck, you can do a save state. Oh, keep going, keep running, keep... Oh, fuck, didn't work that time. Yeah, so... Apart from this fucking bullshit where you have to sit through and wait... Don't know why that is. Why can't I just play the game? No! Oh, now I'm fucking this up. Oh, bollocks. I am really fucking it up now. It's the last life. Come on. Fuck this. Why? So we see that mound of shit at the end again. I'm never going to get there, so why keep showing me? Alright. Here you go. Go, 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 go. Come on! No! Fuck off, you bastard! Fuck off! Oh, they just spawn out of nowhere! Oh, I was pushing! Oh, that was lucky! Just go, just keep. No! Oh, just got an air cut! Oh, no! 
don't think I've ever seen that. I don't even think I've got this far. No, I'm not. Oh, shit. Game over, player one. Right, I think we're going to leave that there because I think you're just going to get unlimited continues on this. And it's only a review anyway. Um, so what do I think? I would say for an 8-bit version, this is one of the best versions I've played. Reason why, because the controls are quite nice. You've got that extra fire button. You've got that extra fire button to jump or fire, you know. You don't have to worry about pushing up on the joystick. And yeah, the graphics look quite good. I honestly think it is a really good version of Ghouls and Go Ghosts and Goblins. Ghosts and Goblins! Ghouls and Ghosts don't think it come out on the Nintendo. But yeah, it is a good version. Anyway, I'm going to end this now. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, and goodbye.